Preservation Oklahoma partnered with Oklahoma City University students to make sure Santa had everything he would need for his visit to the historic Heritage Hills community. News 9's Angelicia Bruton has more on Santa's day in one of Oklahoma City's gyms. To get in the holiday spirit, families took a step back in time, paying Santa a visit in Oklahoma City's first mansion. Kids making their way up the stairs, some on all fours, to tell Santa what's on their Christmas list. I want a red airplane. Dressed in their best Christmas outfits, kids posed for pictures with Santa. Have you been a good boy? Have you been a bad boy? We can go tell Santa. He's just in the other room. <laughs> oh, don't tell Santa. It's okay, Winston. Your secret is safe with us. Winston celebrating his first birthday in one of the most extravagant homes in Oklahoma City. This is Winston's first time at the Overholzer Mansion. The Overholzer Mansion was built in 1903. Lisa Escalon says if the walls could talk, they'd tell you stories about Ann Overholzer, who many would consider the father of Oklahoma City, Henry Overholzer. He was our county commissioner. He ran for mayor. Um, he would be major investor in the streetcar system. He eventually, he would start the State Fair of Oklahoma. He had a vision of a larger city. Escalon says the home many consider to be out in the country now sits in the middle of downtown. Clothes are still in the closets. All of this furniture is original. Uh, most of it is still in the very rooms that they were placed in. A home with more than 10 rooms now decorated for the holidays. And another horse right there. Putting smiles on dozens of families' faces for the holidays. Days. With modern society and computers and technology and everything moving so fast, it's kind of fun to step back and see what life really was and not just look at it in a book or see it on the television, but to actually walk through it. The mansion is open for tours Tuesday through Saturday. In Oklahoma City, Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.